All right, I wanna do something I've never done on this channel, and I wanna start doing some of my most requested tools, but I wanna do some tool reviews. In fact, I wanna do some comparison reviews. Now, Matt Esley used to do Tool Duel, which is really hard to say, but also an incredible name. So if you can think of something better, throw it down in the comments. Now, as always, I have never and never will take money for a paid review, so you can be assured that I am not sponsored in any of these review videos. There will, however, be affiliate links down below. I have been using the Narex new, their Cryo Richter chisels for over a year now, and I've been using the Stanley 750s for about five years. I've been in the trades for about 20, and I've used a lot of tools of the same kind of make and model. So I think I can bring a little bit of expertise in your buying decisions. Uh, so let's come on into the bench and talk about these two. Okay, first off, these are the Stanley 750s. These are the new Narex Richter chisels. First and foremost, I have used and enjoyed both of these. Uh, Stanley's were something that I recommended for years and I think they are probably the best value on the market as far as quality for price, uh, wherever those two graphs meet. However, these are the best chisels I've ever used, hands down, not even close. Sorry, I spoiled the whole review right here in the beginning. One of the things that I always liked about the Stanleys is they come relatively flat and ready to be sharpened out of the box. You obviously always have to sharpen a chisel when you get it. It just doesn't work unless you do it. One of the first things that I noticed when I got the Richter chisels, here's one that I actually have never used. And you can see that they come <laughs> perfectly like mirror finish on the back, just flat as can be, which is just incredible. And so when you get these out of the box, it's really easy to just do your micro bevel and get working. They get so, so sharp. One of the other things that I've noticed that are a huge improvement, and the Lee Nielsen chisels have these as well, is these ultra thin sides. When you're doing dovetails or joinery, one of the problems with these Stanley chisels is look how much thicker that is. I mean, that's almost a, I don't know, an eighth of an inch, 16th of an inch, it's really, really thick. Whereas the Richter chisel, you can see that it's just, I mean, it's, it's almost a non-existent, you could almost sharpen this bevel. In fact, I've certainly probably scratched my, certainly probably, what a statement. Certainly probably scratched myself using these uh, if you grip them too tight. One of the other things that I didn't like about the Stanleys is their friction fit. The handles are friction fit into the steel, which works except if you put them in in winter, when it becomes summer, if you're like me, I, I hang my chisels on the wall like this. Uh, if you're like me, when, if you put them in in winter and it becomes summer, sometimes they'll fall out and then land on the ground. You know, my shop is a slab floor, so it certainly sucks when you come in and all the metal parts are on the ground. So that wasn't fun. The ferrules on the Richter chisel are really nice. They've got this leather in there, which I assume is either to maybe hide the attachment mechanism or create some sort of shock absorber when you hit it. These have some really nice ash handles. I believe the Stanleys are beach. I couldn't find when I looked them up. Another thing, so the way these Narex chisels are made is really incredible. They temper them with liquid nitrogen. So they both go through the same kind of forging, drop forging process. Narex has apparently been doing it the same way for hundreds of years or a hundred years. But when they temper these, they do it in liquid nitrogen, which leads to a Rockwell hardness of a minimum of 62. Stanley's tough to find. Uh, what I've seen is 57 to 62 online, but these are supposed to be minimum of 62. And I certainly have noticed that as far as use, because when you're using them, the harder it is, the longer it retains an edge. These Narex chisels hold an edge forever, and they are so easy to touch up that I haven't noticed like a difference in time sharpening at all, but I have certainly noticed a difference in the length that they stay sharp. Combined with that with the bevel on the edge, you get these really nice crisp corners. They almost flare out at the ends, and I can't tell if that's an optical illusion, uh, because of that thin bevel, but it's really easy to get in the corner of tight dovetails or joinery with these. And that is something I always struggled with with these Stanleys. You've seen me use in all my dovetail videos, those uh, Narex angled chisels, which I really like. They're a pain to sharpen, but they work really good for getting in corners of dovetails. And I've stopped using those as much when I cut joinery because these make it so much easier to get in corners. So the last thing to consider, of course, is price. Now, the most economical way to buy chisels is in a set. Stanley comes in an eight piece, Richter comes in a seven piece. The Stanley is about 70 bucks cheaper, so about $10 per chisel. If you get them in a four piece set, the Stanley, again, about 40 bucks cheaper, so 10 bucks a chisel, but there's a weird overlap for some reason, whereas there's a gift set 
uh, that comes with a box. So per chisel, it's a little bit more expensive, but you get a box. There's a five piece, both Stanley and Richter. Uh, the Richter is actually 20 bucks cheaper. If you get them individually, the Stanleys are like three or four bucks more expensive. So if you need one chisel, the, the Richters are about 35 bucks. The Stanleys are about 39. So, you know, I would recommend the set and get like a chisel roll. I'll link one down below I really like. Uh, it's a canvas, it works. Or you can get some, there's some really nice leather ones out there if you just Google chisel roll. It's kind of a fun way to do joinery too. You can kind of unroll it and act all BA, you know what I mean? So that's sort of my opinion. I love the Richter chisels. I loved the Stanleys for a long time and I did tons of beautiful work with it. I mean, you can see right behind me, a lot of those were done with Stanley chisels. So I'm not saying they're bad by any means. Great value, but the deal breaker for me is those sides. The bevel on the Richters is so great. It's just a pleasant thing to use. And the fact that out of the box, I can just do a micro bevel and I got a super sharp chisel. That means a lot to me because I want to get to work. I don't want to spend all day sharpening. None of us do. And flattening the backs of a Stanley, it's not fun. They come off the grinder. They've got lines in it. It takes a lot of work. So certainly sometimes cost comparisons there that uh, the Richter has a benefit on. So let me know what you thought. Tool Battle Royale. Let me know if there's a two, <laughs> it's so hard to say two tools. Two tools you'd like to see below that I can compare and contrast and give you my honest opinion on. I can guarantee you it'll be honest and uh, true. And if you want to support the channel, head over to the Cat's Moses store, pick up a dovetail jig, a stop block, or an apron. Guys, stay safe in the shop. Have a wonderful day.